Okay, so here it is, the hornworm that likes to, um, I'm not sure which particular, I know there's several different varieties and um, they can devastate um, crops or tomatoes or this one likes to eat all the leaves off uh, the frangipani tree and um, Cole spotted it. Um, my tree, I try and get it, um, I've got one at the front of the house and what happens is is they lay their eggs they're really I, I've not I've seen them as small I don't know whether they lay eggs and then they I don't know whether they lay eggs the moth or whether they anyway so they lay about 20 to 30 of these very small um, they're about an inch when they um, when I first see them on the undersides of leaves or on the, the uh, branches and then they just eat their way around the frangipani tree eating all the leaves they don't actually destroy the tree they just eat all the leaves see this one's <laughs> they actually bite so um, and they've got quite um, quite uh, sharp jaws which I'm gonna have to put this down in a minute so get in the uh, um, quite sharp jaws which um, grab onto the leaves um, and so this is the front and its jaws at the front and it's got a um, like a false little kind of antenna at the back which it wiggles and and uh, predators actually think it's that's the head um, and and then I guess it bites it bites them so this particular one is about three inches one two three maybe three and a half four inches and it's fi trying to find a place that it can hide. Um, sometimes they can get a little bit bigger than this. It's trying to find a place it can hide. Cole, no, leave it. Um, so that it can develop into a pupa. And then it goes into a moth. It's quite a large ooh, brown moth. No, 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 no. <laughs> leave it. <laughs> you were scared of it just a minute ago. Anyway, so... What I normally do, see it wiggles its tail at the back and but there's nothing really that eats it as far as I can tell. Nothing in my garden that eats it. So um, yeah it eats all the leaves off your Ferengi Pani tree and it doesn't flower um the the tree won't flower and yeah so what i do is i try and get them when i find them like you know an inch just get rid of them and you interrupt the cycle basically um from forming but i always get more back um i've just managed to get my tree growing again and there was one flower and then i found like four or five of them no, actually there was about 10 of them which is a um a small amount compared to how much used to uh, be on the tree um, when uh, say early last year I just thought they were so pretty um, and so when I got rid of them the uh, tree actually started to blossom and I'm in the process of cutting it back doing some cuttings and putting the tree elsewhere around the garden um, because it's such a beautiful tree and Rangipani has a beautiful smell. Anyway, so this one was a rogue one. I don't know where it came from, but um, I've seen a few around here. They seem to like it down around here because um, I guess there's loads of places for them to hide. Anyway, so I'm going to get rid of this one. And uh, Cole, thank you for finding it for me. Cole, Cole, say hello. Say hello. 
<laughs> anyway let's get rid of this and i will see you soon thanks for joining me today if you've got any pests or if you've got this particular pest i know some of the tomato hornworms are green and it's very difficult to see and um, you need a special light if you go out at night you find them and the babies but these ones um totally easy to spot um and uh deal with but they are pretty I mean, if you look at it, this one's pretending to be dead. I know it's not dead. See? <laughs> See how long it had stopped? <laughs> it's like, all oh, right, okay. I was just having a nap. All right, then. So thanks for watching. Take care for now. And do leave a comment. Tell me what kind of um, problems that you have to deal with in the garden and, and how you deal with them. Um, yeah. All right, so take care for now and see you soon.